people have asked me uh, what my yard looked like. And it's hard to really catch it in a still shot, but I'm going to try this movie version. Right now we're looking at a mahogany tree that's on our land. And the top of it, strange for a mahogany tree, is pink. That's the bougainvillea. Now the story behind that is that when we first came here, uh, Da Ding and Pisho adopted us more or less. She was the uh, mountain grandmother, Lola. Bukit Lola, as she was known to us. And she gave us this bougainvillea to plant. We planted it and give or take 20 years later, it's pretty big and pretty pretty. Which is good because sadly Dadding passed away many years ago. Now I'm going to bring it down, hopefully slowly. Here we go, down, coming down. Hope it gives you a better shot of it. Now we're coming into the yard. We have a very green yard as you can tell. Now from here, to the right, you can see our bamboo house. Um, I'm going to pull it more to the right. Bamboo house. Uh, those are fruit trees and Buddha bamboo. The sheet metal roof is the roof of the church that I was a pastor in. Myra was the other half of the team and a very important half. Uh, the back of the church. You can see we've got lots of bamboo, lots of green. This is coming up to the side of our yard. We just trimmed this down. I'm going to have to change my positions. In the corner of the screen now is one of our coconut trees. Okay, here we go. Now just so you can know, I'm actually on our roof. It was, it's a big roof. It has a wall all the way around it, a barrier call it. We were originally going to put in a uh, garden on top of the roof, but we thought it might begin to leak and be a problem, so we didn't do it. Uh, coming around, there, we're going to move up a bit so we get the focus there. Now you can see coconut trees coming into view right there. I swing around another mahogany tree, believe me, it's a mahogany tree. It goes way, way up into the sky. We saved that from getting, getting cut it down one day and we planted it in our backyard. More bamboo. Gotta change my position. Now, that's giant bouton. Let me just straighten the picture up a bit here. There. That's the back of our yard, basically. If I pull it down from here, uh, ah, there's our fence. That's the end of our yard. That's about five meters from here. I pull it back up, bring it around. Our yard is sloping, as you can hopefully tell. So it's one of those things. We always end up with angles and dangles. Now we come around, and there's a rather large wall. It is three meters high, and it goes a fair distance. We have that wall as a very simple way to stop people shooting at us. They did for once. They decided uh, they didn't like us. Didn't mount very much. It was just an air rifle. But still and all, we wanted 
a wall after that. Back into our bamboo. We use it for many things. It's good for cleaning the air, the land, provides shade. Time to change position again. And allows us to uh, just crank that up a bit. Uh, we move past, uh, well, our neighbors are up there somewhere, but I won't bother you with them. Our fence takes angles and dangles. And down here is part of our water reserve. Every now and again, our community just runs out of water. Sometimes people or persons cut our lines, and we have to have a way to keep the toilet flushing. Back up to the top of the... No, well, let's leave it down. There's the water lines running. Part of our garden, we have more walls. We have lots of walls. That one is in front of the cement wall. Coming around, I gotta change position again. Now I don't know that you can tell it from this angle. Oh, there. Now you can see it. That is an office that I had built for Myra when she was, there we go. Uh, she started writing her doctoral dissertation and our bamboo house was very small. She was going to go absolutely crazy and one of us was going to get killed if she tried to write it in the house. So we built that small wall, or what small building. Eventually, when she was finished, we turned it into our bedroom because it was farther from the road. Uh, beautiful flow through air, nice stone uh, foundation, and bamboo, of course. Bamboo around it. Ah, there it is at the side. To the left, oh, not actually to the left. Go straight down and you'll see a bit of a trellis. To the left of the trellis is our upper pond. I'll bring this around, bring it down. And there. The red roof is the um, goose nest area. She goes in there to lay her eggs. I'll bring it down. There's our roof. Uh, that round is basically a moonlight. It uh, lets in the light and at full moon on Easter Depending on the year, the moon, full moon shines straight down into it. It's rather beautiful. I'll take it back up. You can see there's some bamboo that we're using for our fence. Oops. There you go. That music in the background isn't ours. It's our neighbor. It's the lowest radio we have. I don't know if you can hear it. He likes to listen to Golden Oldies on Sunday. Now, move back this way, our roof, fruit trees, path, garden, bamboo house, and we're back where we started. Now at this point, if I move over this way, if you were to go straight through that, what it looks like a green wall, and it is, but it's not the end of our land. Beyond that is our vegetable patch. And if you move over this way, uh, this, our land is L-shaped, and behind that wall, there's another wall, and we have more land up there. All in all, it's about 2,000 square meters. Any more, and we couldn't look after it any less, and I'd feel a little closed in. Well, that's nine and a half minutes of our yard. I'll take you back to... Uh, I go up, and there, coming in the light, there you go. Dodding's tree, where we started is where we end at 10 minutes. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.
All right, now we're recording. I've come off the roof. I'm over beside the bamboo house looking down one of our paths. It won't quite be a 360 and it'll be much shorter. There's some cut bamboo that we use for doing our fence. We come along. There's a second path that I'm going to lift up a bit here goes into our house. There's our front. There's the house uh, front windows, front glass walls. You can see the circle uh, up there. And right there is where I was filming from. I'm going to bring it down a bit, bring it over. There's the trellis that I showed you, and behind the trellis, I lift it up just a bit, bring it over, hopefully it focuses, uh, more or less, there. There's the office that Myra wrote her book, or her dissertation in. Bring it back down. Stonework looks kind of nice. And as we come around, our uh, raised stone garden area. And you can't see the pond from here, but you can see some pretty flowers. I don't think you can see the geese either. No, they're over there, but you can't see them. And that's pretty much what I showed you. I got to move once. Okay, I'm going to bring it around. Stone wall, bring it down just a bit. And back to our lower pond stonework. And back in there, I'll raise it a bit, behind the bamboo, is a nice little piece of our land that we haven't quite figured out what to do with. So that's uh, two and a half minutes. That's uh, that's enough. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. All right. Now we're recording. I've come off the roof. I'm over beside the bamboo house, looking down one of our paths. It won't quite be a 360, and it'll be much shorter. There's some cut bamboo that we use for doing our fence. We come along. There's a second path that I'm going to lift up a bit here. Goes into our house. There's our front. There's the house uh, front windows, front glass walls. You can see the circle uh, up there. And right there is where I was filming from. I'm going to bring it down a bit, bring it over. There's the trellis that I showed you. And behind the trellis, I lift it up just a bit, bring it over. Hopefully it focuses, uh, more or less, there. There's the office that Myra wrote her book, or her dissertation in. Bring it back down. Stonework looks kind of nice. And as we come around, our uh, raised stone garden area. And you can't see the pond from here, but you can see some pretty flowers. I don't think you can see the geese either. No, they're over there, but you can't see them. And that's pretty much what I showed you. I got to move once. Okay, I'm going to bring it around. Stone wall, bring it down just a bit. And back to our lower pond stonework. 
And back in there, I'll raise it a bit, behind the bamboo is a nice little piece of our land that we haven't quite figured out what to do with. So that's uh, two and a half minutes. That's, uh, that's enough. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.